One of the things that we pursued was a cross-curricular approach to the use of ICT rather than a standalone subject and therefore we uh, infused ICT targets into each of our core action plans such as literacy and numeracy and our music and even our PE. We really wanted the children to develop those transferable skills um, across the thinking skills and the personal capabilities and also that they would become digital citizens. Now ICT is completely embedded throughout the whole curriculum and the journey that we've been on has been so rapid. We are very heavily invested in using performance analysis. This enables our children to do assessment for learning tasks and really monitor their performance in areas of dance, gymnastics, games and athletics. Children are able to peer and self-assess their works in cohorts of groups and able to really see about their technique and performance. So in areas like gymnastics, when they're looking at balancing and developing their technique, they can review their strategies with themselves, but they can also bring that back into the classroom. They can share that in the interactive whiteboard and they can discuss that. They share that to the teacher's iPad through the use of AirDrop, Google Drive and OneDrive and that's really useful for the teachers then across the school from P1 right through to P7 that can really look at and monitor the children's learning. We have established links with our shared education partner and we had a focus on computational thinking and coding. The children are able to develop their thinking skills and personal capabilities and also has a strong link to our numeracy curriculum and it's fun and it's practical and it's interactive. We use lots of ICT in our learning. We have iPads, computers and laptops. We also have lots of coding equipment such as Bbot, Spheros and Dot and Dash. We also use Picpolage, iMovie, Green Screen, GarageBand and Scratch. One time when I was in my classroom, I helped my friend Laura by adding in sound effects to make our sound track sound better. Children are more motivated and engaged in the lessons um, and that's having improved outcomes for the children. We have been now using that uh, Seesaw platform as an assessment tool in the foundation stage and it has been instrumental in tracking the children within our care. Kids are definitely more engaged and integrated within their learning. They have more say and they're able to develop their learning through our apps. In our school, the digital leaders are called the Techno Turtles and we have a very important job. We help Miss Cunningham look after the ICT equipment, support our teacher in the classroom and we are also digital buddies to the Foundation and to Key Stage 1 children. In terms of workload, I mean we had training at the start of August on the new Surface Pro devices and that was very useful and beneficial. The Surface Pro devices allow us to take work home and work off the VPN network and that's greatly beneficial. So we're no longer working off the old day of memory sticks that we're able to integrate and share resources on the OneDrive and Google Drive which is great for collaboration amongst teaching cohorts. In Primary 1 we've been focusing then on the Seesaw app and moving away then from paper-based observations. Um, it's really reduced teacher workload but also a great way of collaborating with your peers within the foundation stage. Very quick and easy um, on the Google Drive to upload the evidence and when we come together and we share it through our Surface Pros and on our active panels, um, this is very easy for the staff to showcase the learning and actually to collaborate together and to share ideas. It, we would set the children's homework, it goes live on a Saturday morning. The children can take ownership for this, they can manage, um, it's giving them life skills that they're able to manage their work. Um, they can work to um, deadlines, they can prioritise what they have to do for the week. Every class in the school does two online homeworks and two paper homeworks, and but some classes have went fully online. And it does mean for the parents that if something is a bit tricky, that we can add videos to support that. Positive feedback from parents about interaction online spurred us on to continue to use collaboration with parents and engagement um, through our weekly sway and the use of forms to canvas their opinions.